Secretary of Defense Arne Duncan, who was himself a superintendent in Chicago Public Schools, acknowledges No Child Left Behind has significant flaws, he says, and states and school districts need relief. But rather than work with us to get it changed, he and the President have decided to issue waivers in exchange for states adopting policies that he wants them to have. Sort of paraphrasing, he would say, we'll let you opt out of these requirements if you do things the way we want them done. And that's the waiver policy that we have right now. I understand there's going to be an exciting announcement today that states are going to be granted waivers. These states are granted waivers because they've made, made changes that he wanted made, not changes that we put into law, but changes that he wanted made. George Will said it best in his Washington Post column, and here I do have to read this carefully. He says, quote, the Obama administration considers the Republican-controlled House of Representatives icky, <laughs> and the separation of powers tiresome, so it is dispensing with legislation in favor of coercion. Icky. Boy, I, I, it's that approval rating thing again. Icky. Wow. To make matters worse, the plan inches out our, our nation's schools, inches our nation's schools toward a rigid one-size-fits-all program that happens to be in the model that he wants 